Is the 10,000 calorie challenge healthy? I'll explain. Hey, I'm Dr. Eckberg with Wellness for Life. And if you'd like to truly master health by understanding how the body really works, make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you don't miss anything. So someone asked me on YouTube if 10,000 calories a day was healthy. And the short answer is if you eat healthy food, then it would be healthy. If you eat 10,000 calories of bad food, then it would be very unhealthy. But there's a little bit more to it than that. We'll try to explain a few things here. The problem is calories, first of all, it's just a measure of energy. So if you burn more energy, if you have an active lifestyle, then you're gonna need more energy. You're gonna need more fuel. But the thing is, your body has a self-regulation mechanism. Everyone has this, but it's been sort of put out of commission. If you think about this, are there any animals in the wild that don't know how much to eat? The, the lion, and the gazelle, and the chimpanzee, and the rabbit, and the squirrel, do they not know how much they're supposed to eat? Do they, it's like, oh, oh my God, I'm, I'm, do they get neuroses because, I, oh, maybe I'm eating too much, maybe I'm not eating enough. No, they know exactly how much to eat because their bodies tell them. It's a built-in infinite intelligence. And we have it too, but we screw it up with processed foods because processed foods are drugs. They screw up the body to bypass. It puts this self-regulation mechanism out of order. And the problem is that food is supposed to sustain. Food nutrition is that which sustains life. But if you start putting in a lot of other stuff for other reasons, if you eat to change how you feel, now you are taking a drug. And the problem is that most people, most of what they eat is to change how they feel. So most people eat drugs all the time. And white sugar, white flour, processed oils, food chemicals, MSG, the list goes on and on and on. All of these are drugs. They're designed to change how we feel, to bypass that mechanism so that we don't know when to stop eating. The first step would be to eat real food. And that's not easy anymore because the food is depleted, the soil is depleted, everything in the grocery store is processed. So it's a process of learning how to get back to eating real food. And then once you eat more real food, you learn to self-regulate better and then you have to repair all of the systems, all the organ systems, your endocrine systems, your insulin responses, your pancreas, your liver, your entire pituitary, thyroid, adrenal axis. It's been, it's been damaged from all, this, all these drugs. So it'll take some time and this is an ongoing process of repair, real food, self-regulation. And once you get into that, you'll find that your body gets really, really good at knowing how much to eat. So going back to the first question, is 10,000 calories healthy? Well, if you eat real food, if you eat things that are nutrient dense, that are made by mother nature so that they're full of, of nutrition, you could possibly stuff yourself for one day with 10,000 calories and you didn't really have to force it because your body quickly reaches a level of satiety, of satisfaction. You're full, you're content. And if you try to do that day after day after day, your body would just say, hey, hey, come to your senses, stop this foolishness because you'd have to violate your, your body's innate wisdom. You'd have to do some things against your better judgment because once you eat real food, your body starts to self-regulate and now it knows exactly how much to eat. So could you eat 10,000 calories? Probably, 
but then again, that's called overeating. And you would also put tremendous stress on your digestive system and you probably not feel so good. So I wouldn't recommend it. Some people are making a lot of fun with this because they are trying to prove that if you eat a lot of fat, if you stay away from the sugars and the carbs, then you can eat any number of calories and not gain weight. And, and that's a good point. But we don't really want to push it. We don't really want to try to make a game out of it that way. Uh, learn to eat real food, trust your body's innate wisdom, and get healthy. If you enjoyed this sort of content, make sure that you subscribe and hit that notification bell so we can keep this content coming your way. Please share this content because everyone out there is confused and misinformed and don't know what to do. So this channel is all about getting the truth, getting the true principles out there so that we can start reclaiming health and longevity and quality of life. Thanks for watching.